Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are getting my rotors on, new bearings, dust shields, everything the whole nine yards. We'll show you how to pack these bearings. Don't have my struts in yet, so my spindles are just tied up temporarily just to keep them from uh, falling down once we get the rotor on there. But uh, we're going to make quick work of it. Let's get started. Alright, here are my rotors. As you can see, they've already got the races in here. There's the in inner race. The outer race is right here. So the bearings, they come with the races. We won't need to use the races. We're just going to use the bearings. And uh, we're going to pack them with grease right now. Alright, so to pack the bearing, we use this tool right here on bearing packing tool. We're going to drop our bearing in just like this. Put this on and then just push it down and we're going to look for grease to come up through the holes around the top of the bearing here or the outside of the bearing and that's what you want to see right there you can see all the grease is coming up through right around the top of the bearing and now we're just going to take sorry about the dog barking I'm just going to take uh, some grease and just rub around here and make sure this is just coated all the way around very heavily in grease. And I'll set it aside and we'll move on uh, to the uh, outer bearings. Before we can put the rotors on, we need to put these dust shields on. Right, so the first thing we want to do is uh, put a bunch of grease down here in the rotor. We want to get all around the race, the back side of the race. Just fill it up. And we'll flip it over into the other side in just a second. So that's about what you want it to look like. We're gonna drop in our bearing. We'll do a little bit more grease. Can't have too much. And then we've got our seal. So the seal you want to uh, drive in as straight as possible. You can use a two by four on its end. Got grease all over it so I can't pick it up. So just make sure that it's seated all the way around. Looks good. Now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to put grease on this side, just like we did on the other. And we're going to put in our bearing. And now we're ready to put this on the car. And after we get it on the car, we're going to put on our washer and then the nut. Okay. Alright, so first thing you want to do is put grease on the spindle here, on the shaft. And we're going to put our rotor on carefully, not to push out this outer bearing. Perfect. And then we're going to put our washer on. It's got a little uh, tooth on it right there. It goes in this slot. And we'll put our 
nut on there. And I'm gonna wipe this off before I make too big of a mess. All right, now I'm going to uh, tighten this nut down to 25 foot-pounds. This is my torque wrench. There we go. And then I'm going to back it off one quarter turn. Just like that and that should be about right and it should be uh, not loose but just as tight as you can get it with your fingers and uh, that's it now we're gonna put in our cotter pin or our crown and then our cotter pin okay. and spin your cotter pin around That's it, now we'll just put on our dust cap and we'll be done. And done. All right, that is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I think this turned out great. Um, this is just a, uh, you know, it's kind of a cheap rotor, you know, it looks nice, it's uh, zinc plated. Altered Fox does not sell any rotors, uh, but they do have a kit that includes the inner and outer bearings, uh, plus the seal, and it even includes the uh, dust cap here, all in one little, uh, nice little kit. Pretty inexpensive, I think it's like $60, so uh, check that out, I'll put a link down below in the summary. Um, like and subscribe next week. We should be doing the uh, struts. Get rid of my rope here that's holding everything up. Do the struts, the springs, the caster camber plates, um, hood hinges, uh, the hood, everything. So, as you can see, we've got the front end on finally coming together. Doesn't look very good, but it's a work in progress. Uh, I got the lights working. I'll, uh, maybe I'll throw in a picture here at the end of this video of the lights. And uh, that's it. So yeah, definitely subscribe so you can catch all these videos coming up. And we'll see you next time. See you.